Hey everyone, it's Dinah, and we are here with, a, with an all new trailer reaction. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and it's not <laughs> for lack of any trailers. I think since, like, like in the, you know, gaps between me reacting to anything, like literally me recording anything at all, plenty of trailers have come out. I think I've seen, I haven't watched the trailers for them, but I've seen that the fine, like, uh, I mean, the movie is out now, but the Blue Beetle final trailer came out, didn't really get the chance or like get in the right kind of stage to react to that and then I think that the the um the final trailer for the, or like a, like a, a new trailer for, for for the Marvels came out didn't get to watch that either um didn't get to to, to react to it um I don't think that those came out I think was there another one I feel like there was a third one that I, I might be missing or like forgetting right now but I'm, I'm not sure but I think in that time where I I, I just wasn't really in in the kind of like the, the mood or the, the right kind of mindset or, or anything to, to, to really sit down and, and record stuff again to just anything whether it was a reaction or anything at all um I did like like see that you know trailers are still coming out and 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 it, it like it, it was still like like a you know promotional season even with all the strikes and stuff going on and even a, a, as of now I think uh, at the time of this recording anyway um the writers guild of America has actually reached like a deal um and the strikes for them have actually ended and they've actually reached a deal which is great news which is fantastic news so I think now the uh, uh, the the SG the, the um not the SG the SAG the um Screen Actors Guild are still striking and they're working towards getting a better deal so it's a step in the right direction but still clearly a lot of work to be done um standing in full uh, standing in in full support of everyone striking and hope, ho hoping um that they hopefully get a fair deal and get the conditions that they deserve and that you know they've earned after all this time too so yeah I think now um promotional stuff could be kind of coming up on the horizon maybe more promotional stuff because I think because the strikes were going on like so many actors actually didn't and couldn't actually like promote stuff that, that they were in that, that was coming out regardless of, of whether or not they were actually going to red carpets or doing interviews or whatever but now I think um, that could be you know on, on its way back I think maybe that depends more on, on how the um screen actors kind of strikes kind of go and, and, and how soon they actually reach a deal of their own and everything so yeah stuff is still coming out even if um even if strikes are happening but i think you know i mean well stuff that's actually ready to release and is close enough to release so i think i think for other kind of um productions and everything like production itself has halted so anything that was in the middle of filming um definitely kind of got halted and other stuff that was in development is still just in development and they actually can't can't you know start production until things reach reach a better stage or anything so yeah um there, i think i think because of that too i think i, I was definitely kind of like wondering what like because even um again like an even um re reactions kind of like that whole kind of area of like um you know consuming and and you know doing like like doing content like that kind of kind of did change as well as, as well like, like 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 some stuff was okay to react to other stuff not so much and then re reactions themselves being somewhat of like a form of promotion for um for that kind of media um kind of definitely put things on hold as well so it kind of felt weird like you know um i don't know just just kind of felt like a lot was going on and like you know yeah I don't know just for, for me and also like in, in that kind of environment too just felt like a lot was going on so didn't react to a lot of trailers that's the gist of it but yeah I think this one came out came out not too long I think I think, I think this actually dropped like a week ago so was on the fence of, about reacting to this because I thought I mean this is coming in November like, this is actually next month now so I don't know if, if, if I should you know, watch any trailers for this. If I should do, if I just wait, if I should just wait um, for the actual um, special to arrive in November, because I think now again it, it's officially October. It's officially the first of October as I'm recording this. So, yeah, um, in a month and a bit, like it will be time. So, I, I think it, it's been definitely kind of somewhat more in recent times that I've kind of been one to like kind of shy away from watching like promotional stuff if it's closer to the release date because then I'm like okay well then if it's this close to that then I might just wait for the official thing and not like you know sometimes tra tra trailers can be good enough that it's actually worth spoiling yourself for it but I don't know but with this one I thought I might check it out anyway because I think with this one like I think we've had a fair deal of promotion for it but I think in terms of trailers I think I'm, I'm not really sure how many we've actually had like maybe well no I think maybe I think we, uh, we've had I think we had one at the end of the centenary special that was like a kind of 50 30 second teaser they showed Shooty as the new Doctor as well, like um, for the first time. And then I think after that we had like another trailer, and then may maybe one more trailer after that. I'm not, I'm not too sure. But I think since then we're, we're, we've had other kind of um, things promoting the special and also promoting season. 
Is it 15 coming out or is it 14? I think it's 14, right? I'm pretty sure it's 14. Yeah, season 14 coming out as well. Um, David's Doctor is the 14th. But I think I think he, even he gets to be in like three specials like spread out across the year. I think he gets to be in three specials. I think I think you know following the um, the 60th. I think there are I think like three other episodes like uh, three other specials coming out that he's in. So I don't know if those are going to be seasonal specials like Easter and Christmas or New Year or, or whatever. Or if that's just going to be something else, I think that would make more sense because I think that's literally what they did for his actual final run as well like um starting from one christmas and then leading into the next kind of new year one so yeah um i don't know how that's gonna go but either way this one is shaping up to, to be a pretty big one i think there's been plenty of info release uh, since uh, that very first teaser we got so we have you know david obviously returning uh, returning as the doctor but he is the 14th he, he is like an actual new number with like a similar face and similar clothes and all of that kind of stuff so there's that then of course Catherine tate returning as donna we've got yasmin finney um k- k- being introduced um as rose temple is it temp- rose temple Temple Noble, I believe, like her daughter, Rose Temple Noble, hers and Sean's daughter. Um, then I think we have Sylvia coming back in and everything. And I think a lot of returning faces. And then I think we have um, Neil Patrick Harris coming in as the... Uh, I, think, I think I think they did confirm on Twitter he is the toy maker. He is the Celestial toy maker. So like, like the, the toy maker coming back in with a new face. Um, which which only makes sense and everything. So, yeah, and I think that alone kind of provides very many kind of like story possibilities as well. It's like why the Doctor's regenerated, so to speak, but then regressed like to having like an old face, even if it is a new number, and how much the Doctor remembers and meeting Donna again with the same face, like with the only like literally the only face that that, that, that Donna remembers like her Doctor ever having. Like she she she's seen him regenerate, but even then he still kept the same face because of vanity issues. So. Yeah, I don't know, but um, a lot of stuff is kind of, you know, being speculated and being teased and it offers a lot of possibilities. So I am very curious to see how this new Doctor might still come about, even if it's got even if it's got a face that we all kind of remember and love and have cherished um, all those years gone by and everything. So um, yeah, this is an official new trailer. So without further ado, uh, let's check it out. Hmm. Sometimes I think there's something missing. Like I had something lovely. And it's gone. While I lie in bed thinking. What have I lost? Mm. No other's friend. Called Donna Noble. I had to wipe her memory. Oh god, these flashbacks. Oh. If she remembers me, she will die. So what happens next? The spaceship crashes right in front of her. It's like she's drawing us in. Ah, oh, beat the meat. <laughs> meet me. Oh, damn. Okay. I don't believe in destiny, but if destiny exists, then it is heading for Donna Noble. Hmm. And I've got a memory. After a very long time, something's coming back. Mm-hmm. Who are they? Monsters. <laughs> There's something so bad the TARDIS ran away. The TARDIS. Yes. The TARDIS disappeared. Then we go and kick it off. Uh. Whoa. Lethbridge Stewart. Kate's back. Okay. Kate's back, and they've got a helipad. I mean, they've got like a whole ass Avengers tower. That was a tower, right? I mean, yeah, that was a tower. Oh, damn! There's Stranger Things four in this bitch. Uh, oh, that's a, that was a good shot. I don't know if I can save your life this time. Uh. Oh. Oh gosh. Shitty! Where was he? Where, where, what was that? Where was that? That looked like a familiar background. Where was that? Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. Will do. I hope they never get rid of that. For any Doctor that comes, I hope like that's going to be like a staple of, of the Doctor Who YouTube channel. Just whoever the Doctor is, they always get to say that. Like that should be 
like the very first thing they get to film before before the regeneration scene before and any, any any of that that should be the very first thing they get to film to really cement themselves as the doctor like yeah that, that's how you know you're the doctor you got to say that at, at the end of the video okay there's a lot of stuff to cycle through in this one i think um but I'm pretty sure we saw Kate again. We did. Kate's back. Kate left for sure. And I think I think well, did this one. Um, um, yeah, I think she she hasn't seen this face. The first the first face she met was Eleven. But yeah, I think she 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 she, she does know obviously that the Doctor can reach out. I think she's yeah she's met Eleven, Twelve, and Thirteen, and now Fourteen. Even though technically it's Ten. So I don't know like I don't, I don't know like like how many that really counts as. But but even his body language, like the arms out, like like welcoming welcoming her for a hug, is so Thirteen kind of coded and everything. So. Uh, makes sense. I mean, he's probably still carrying her, like, mannerisms and bits of her persona. I mean, I think, like, I mean, they carry all the memories, everything they've done, everything, everything that they're, they're, everyone they've ever met and everything, so would not be surprised if we get some kind of Jodie coded moments um, in his performance as well, so that makes sense. Um, oh, he's, he's in a helicopter, but <laughs> the TARDIS is still being carried. I love that. Yeah, last time they picked him up without even telling him and he ended up hanging... Um, from the underside of the TARDIS, which actually I think that is actually one of what, what one of my favorite kind of shots from the fiftieth, like the like 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 that whole kind of cinematic kind of title sequence thing that um, that we got and everything with the names and the title cards and the Doctor is just like like hanging off the underside of the TARDIS and everything, so that was cool. But yeah, we have a tower. That I mean, yeah, I mean, I I mean, yeah, like. I don't want to say it, but that looks a whole lot like, you know, I think that is like just... Was UNIT ever meant to be a secret organization? Like, I think f for some reason, I remember like for, like, like my, my first like memories of, of seeing UNIT in, in New Who, I think, I don't know why I wondered like, oh, they must be like, you know, Doctor Who's version of S.H.I.E.L.D. or like, like, like I got the impression that they were meant to be some kind of like a secret organization, like if, like like uh, uh, like like maybe they find you if you want to work for them, you don't find them because then with what they deal with, like they deal with extraterrestrial threats, so like extraterrestrial th threats. So that's not something they they want just about anyone to know about. Like like if you if you work for them, it's going to be because you're skilled and they want you and all that kind of stuff. But with this, this just like like their whole logo is just plastered on the side of the thing. And you know, I mean, I, I get like 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 they're a government a government division, so the government will know about them and the government would know to contact them if like alien stuff started happening. But with this, this just seems like you know pretty much most if not all people know by now that the kind of like di like the the distribution rights to Doctor Who have been acquired by Disney Plus. So that means that they. Um, I don't know if it's dis I don't know I don't, I don't know if, it, if it's disappearing off of BBC iPlay. I think I, I, I don't think it is, but I think so that it can be available internationally as well, like on a, on like a more public level. I think um, it's going to be available on Disney Plus as well. So I think I think maybe that's the reason, partly for the logo change, but also like the actual budget increase as well um, is going to be coming from Disney. So I think, but but with this, like this, just screams like you know, like before, like like I, I remember how discreet and how covert Unit kind of felt way back in season four when we um saw them in the kind of Sontaran episodes and everything like that seemed like not just lower budget but that seemed more kind of apt for what the agency was trying to do like like, like they still got shit done but then it, it, it didn't seem so in your face and I'm not saying I have I have such a huge problem with this but this just feels so Disney this feels so kind of like Avengers so so much more kind of well, when you look at it I feel like the first thing you think of is oh Avengers Tower from Marvel so that's clearly where the money's coming from so now you it wants you to know it's their tower so why not just plot a pl plaster their logo <laughs> on the side and everything like i don't know it's it looks cool but it looks so flashy and, and it just looks so obviously like yeah disney wants wants you to know that they had a hand in helping get this out and get, get get this special and get all the forthcoming episodes out into the world too so even with chibnall's um kind of run too like even with jody's on like, like I, I feel like the actual budget like for the production like like in terms of like the actual kind of i, I felt like the aspect ratio changed and like the kind of like the kind of overall kind of kind of kind of kind of, kind of, kind of quality of the footage and then the actual vfx and, and then the production that went into actually actually kind of kind of kind of got amped up too so he, he actually did make it feel slightly, slightly more cinematic from the way it looked and the way it felt and everything you know, so I think it's not exclusive to this, but I think now with this now being in Disney's hands as well, I feel like now we're, we're probably going to see like a, like a bit of like a bump up in kind of production and, and quality 
and that kind of thing as well. And the I think the only thing, the only other thing I actually knew of was BBC America. I think that's how Americans watched it. But I don't know how like people like like in, in Europe or anywhere else in the world actually might have watched this. So now, yeah. But I'm just glad Kate's back. Honestly, I am very very glad Kate's back. So very excited to see how uh, how much she can contribute to all this. Talk about like um the the the, the, the doctor remembering the toy maker and remembering how much of a threat he was. So I still haven't actually watched it. Like like um. I continued past where I was in the classics from when I actually last kind of stopped off running, so I haven't actually reached the Celestial Toolmaker episode or anything yet, so I don't know exactly what he's about or what he's like or what he can do. I think I've, I've heard like um like like he, he he can alter reality or like I mean it, it feels like maybe that could be what he's doing here. And even the common theory is that he's that he he's the one who actually messed with um the Doctor's um regeneration so that he actually um she 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 actually changed back into an older face but with different clothes and even the face itself having aged as well. So yeah, I think as someone who hasn't watched the the the, the um the classic series um to to, to to that extent, I'm very curious to see exactly what kind of abilities that he does have or, or what kind of tricks he has up his sleeve and then and what he can do and how badly like he, he can actually cause damage and everything um to the doctor and everyone around him this is a cool shot but an even cooler shot that i actually really liked is this this is a really good shot like him like actually like controlling them all like 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 um, like, like, like puppets on a string and him just having such like a domineering kind of giant like presence over them like like, like, like like he's literally playing god altering reality to fit his own kind of entertainment and his own interests and playing with other people's lives and everything and it could even be what's happening here he's actually drawing the doctor and donna closer together again like changing her changing um the doctor back into a face that she recognizes and, and that she knows but even one that she's not like supposed to recognize because then she might die and everything so i think i think that stuff could definitely still be in place i think last time it was a defense mechanism that saved her from all the other masters but i think this time maybe it's actually in place and he can't really get too close or he can't really like um remind her of what she's lost without losing her as well so um, there's been like i think there's been no actual schedule released for any of these episodes it's just like four episodes four specials then if it's all going to be part of the same story if it's going to be like a sort of, like chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four type thing or if it's going to be like you know something else but if they'll all be connected episodes or if they're going to be individual kind of kind of kind of like some specials or, or what's going to happen but because i think even the 50th was like an hour and a half long i'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it, it definitely did feel quite like kind of you know like feature length and movie length in that way so i think with this one it feels like like it like like it, this definitely feel, feels like one episode but then in that sense it could also be as as, as the 60th special it could, could, could be an equally long or kind of similar length kind of kind of episode in itself too but yeah i think um including including shooty at the end i think it makes sense that they're still promoting the new doctor saying like like reminding you like oh yeah there's still another one on the way like that's the official next doctor um this is just the one we're putting in here to fill the gap and to you know um put put, put the story here and everything but the, the new one is still coming so maybe they, they tease him in, in the trailer but then he's actually not showing up until the end of next year we're seeing the doctor with donna again but this is a different doctor like this is a doctor this is a doctor who's met so many more people um since he left donna and a doctor that has you know some i think i think so someone online did actually point out this is a doctor who who officially knows that like um who has seen the end of river's journey he's he's parted ways with with river and everything um he knows about amy and rory he knows about clara he knows about bill you know like everyone since the end of season four like everyone and everything and and all that stuff like he's faced so many more he's met so many more enemies he's faced so many more enemies and he's been through so much more in that sense too it's a doctor that's definitely matured and maybe like like even then like keeping david's age as it is instead of actually de-aging him to make him look younger or something makes more sense because then again like like even if you do go back to that face no, no need to show that the years haven't still worn him down like he even spent billions of years in the dial um trying to save clara and everything so i, I, I think maybe if they take it away that now that might take away the weight of what of what she's been through and maybe the the, the weight of what they went through together or, or something but his final line being like you know i don't know if i can save you this time the stakes for them are that much higher and could this be the end of donna noble like, like i think again don't like you know i, I will say like, like don't bring her back just to kill her but then maybe well what if that, that that is the only way her journey can end or maybe that's the way that they plan for her journey to end because then i think um not that people have actually been against like having her in the background of the world while the doctor still keeps changing faces and meeting more people but then you know i think it always leaves you wondering exactly where her journey might go if she might just get left behind without those memories if she might just spend the left the rest of her life wondering or something um but it makes me curious like like how much the how much these two can actually address together um you know so i wonder Ooh, i wonder we saw that shot of shooty at the end so i wonder 
because the doctor didn't regenerate properly, like like he didn't actually like like um she didn't actually move on to a new face, but she actually regressed like three faces. I wonder maybe if that means that Shooty is at is at the edge. In the edge, like, like we, 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 we saw the edge and, and we met the guardians of the edge, we, 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 which were just the actual aged up kind of faces of the previous doctors, or at least like a few of them. I wonder if, if Shooty's doctor, like, like, like the face has already been determined, the face and the appearance of everything has already been determined, but because of the toy makers meddling, um, the face just hasn't actually been allowed to come out yet. So then maybe because of that, like, like, um, Sh- 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 Shooty's kind of like, um, has already been selected in the doctor's consciousness as the new appearance and as the new body, but then because of the meddling and everything, Shooty's just kind of Kind of like our 15 is just waiting at the edge and is just awakened there and everything so it, it did seem more like like, like m- more like 15 woke up but then he hadn't actually kind of gotten into the new body yet so then it would be cool if we can cut m- maybe cut back and forth like maybe maybe as like post credit scene or something maybe we can actually cut back and forth to seeing how shoot he's doing to seeing how 15 is doing in the edge and he's actually meeting the, the previous doctors and everything like if we can see him kind of if, if we can yeah if, if we can actually see him meeting the guardians of the edge and actually kind of conversing with all the previous kind of faces that came before him and everything too and especially him meeting meeting 13 and talking to her and everything um that feels like it could be a very plausible thing like okay so 15 has been decided like like, like their appearance and the kind of new selection has been decided but you know they just can't come out yet because something is actually messing with the time lord and everything so yeah, and I think this definitely this definitely looks like this looks like a doctor who's ready to go. This honestly lo- lo- looks like a doctor who's in, who's you know found maybe like found new found new clothes and everything or like found something, and but but they they they're just ready to go. They they they're just ready to go. They they they're ready to be the doctor, but and, and until the toy maker is taken care of, they 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 they, they can't. Um, regenerate into the new body just yet so um, as much as i'm looking forward to seeing david back as the doctor again i am actually looking forward to shooty's doctor like even like like slightly more because i actually do 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 want to see how shooty will actually be and and and, and how shooty will perform and how how, how he'll actually l- look as the doctor i think we, we we we've got like um other promo stuff that came out like 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 sh- sh- showing the doctor and ruby in like period clothes and um, different kind of kind of time kind of periods and, and all that kind of stuff and other kind of guest actors and guest characters will, will be coming and doing their thing. So I'm actually so I'm actually that much more excited for season fourteen. Like um, knowing I, I do love David's Doctor and his portrayals of the Doctor, but I want to see this new Doctor. I want, I want to fall in love with this new Doctor. And I, I want to see what he's like and see what he brings in. And it's Shooty Gatwa. It's Shooty Gatwa. Like he's just incredible. So he was incredible in Sex Education. He's amazing in the Barbie movie as well. So. Yeah, cannot wait to see him actually leading this this kind of franchise and and, and, and and leading his own kind of project and his own kind of role for once and being a leading man and everything. So he is gonna he he's gonna absolutely smash it. He's gonna smash it. For now, that is all I have for this reaction and for this video. So yeah, that was the official trailer for uh the, the, the new trailer for the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who coming soon. So thank you guys as always so much for watching this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, then feel free to leave a like and comment on what you thought the trailer as well and, and what you're looking forward to in the special. If you have any thoughts or theories, then feel free to uh, leave them down below. Uh, let me know what you think of everything that's to come and what you're looking forward to the most and everything. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much it. So until the next time, bye bye for now.